you're ready to start feeling, looking, and performing your very best, call, text us, or stop by Titan Medical Center today. Titan's state-of-the-art facility is conveniently located in the beautiful Channelside District. Our friendly staff and group of healthcare professionals are here to provide you with unparalleled service. From hormone replacement therapy and weight loss programs to nationwide blood work healing peptides and much more. If you're interested in becoming a Titan Medical Center patient, call us today at 727-389-3220. Or you can also visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Well, we're back. Welcome to another Titan unboxing with me, John, CEO of Titan Medical Center. See, I do it all here, right? Wear a lot of different hats. Uh, everybody else is working, doing other things. If I gotta pull up the boxes and load them up, no problem. I like doing the work. Because in the beginning, I couldn't pay nobody to do any of the work. So at that point, I mean, Trish, we're doing a lot of the work ourselves. And uh, hard work hopefully pays off. Usually it does. So I'll just keep putting in the work. And hopefully more success will come. I should probably arrange this. I don't know if you guys ever used to play uh, Tetris when you guys were kids. Well, if you're as old as I am, right? Um, and I'm 42, so if you guys are in that age group right around there, you guys know when uh, Game Boy came out, and the original game was like Tetris. That was one of the other original ones with you know Mario Brothers. <sighs> I was so good at that game, man. I played that game so much. <sighs> Let's see how much I can jang up on this bad boy. Looks like I'm gonna have to come out here for uh, at least another round. Oh, I see some goodies in here. All right, let's take these inside. We'll come back for the rest. All right, final two boxes. I kind of got a sneak peek what was in these bad boys, so let's start the unboxing process. Let's see what we got. So in here, we got more of the gray crop top hoodies. These ones are super soft. So the ladies are gonna love these things. These are gonna wear with their bathing suits, they can wear with the shorts. We're actually gonna have some awesome shorts being made to match up with these. So it'll be a whole outfit if you want. A whole big box of these. I know we had some more from before too. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is something new. The pink crop top hoodies. Look at that. Right? I'm a little bit pinker, but it's a light pink. A ton of these look like they look good. Always gotta check over the batches, make sure everyone's all right. More tank tops. Wow, more pink crop top hoodies. What we got over here? It's kind of, oh yeah. Now we're talking. Got the blue hat, tight blue, white print, snap back. And this isn't a flat bill. So old schoolers like myself, really not into the flat bill, right? The younger generation knows a flat bill. I've worn on occasion, try to be trendy, but I always go back to one I can just curve a little bit. Look like an old baseball player. I love that. Very breathable and open in the back. They're really high quality. You guys are gonna love these. And I know I got different colors of these too, so. Let me see what else I got. In oh, yes. I knew I had some different variations in here. You guys are gonna love this variation too. Right? 
black and blue. With the Team Titan on the side of all of these. You know we got to represent. All right. Beautiful. Breathable. And I know I got some different colors. So maybe they're in here as well. Oh, yeah. What about the all black one? White stitching. Team Titan on the side. Got one baby, right? And these will fit anybody. I made these for guys and girls. A lot of girls, they want to wear, you know, their ponytail at the back, they got their hair, whatever. So this will be able to fit them properly. Not like the fitted hats that are usually good. I love fitted hats. I've got, oh, I've got some new ones in here too. So I've got, See, Jenga is working not in my favor. Okay. Got the black perforated, fitted. And these are awesome. 3930 New Era hats. That's right. Like the MLB, baby. High quality. That's how we do. What about that camo? Big Drew's going to want these. He's been begging me to get the extra, the extra large size for him. So, Drew, this one is specifically for you. But everybody else out there that wants to rock that camo fitted Team Titan hat, ready to go, just for you guys. Do I got any more in here before I let you guys go? I think that's it, guys. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, they're gonna be on the website here soon. Or you guys can just call or text and say, listen, I seen John on this video. He had that camo hat, that black and blue hat, the shirts, the tank tops, whatever it is. Let me know, we'll hook you guys up, I promise. Stay tight and strong, look good, feel good, and perform your best with Titan Medical Center every single day. Let's go.
What's up guys, Reggie Harvey here. I am a athlete with Titan Medical Center. I came to Titan uh, because I was having a lot of issues on sleeping, uh, my sex drive was super low, my energy was low. When I was in the gym, the weights felt heavy. Every, everything was off for normal for me and I'm a personal trainer, that's what I do for a living. Uh, I'm an IFBB pro, I compete. Uh, and my everyday life was just off. So I needed a little help, talked to a few of the people at Titan, a few other athletes, and they pushed me over to go get my blood work done. I pretty much had a lot of issues before Titan, and uh, I came just so they can fix those issues. Uh, I did go ahead and get my blood work done, and what the blood work showed was that my estrogen level was high, um, my testosterone level was dramatically low, lower than a female's testosterone level. Uh, it was, I think, 46. It was, it was rough. So at the end of the day, these are things that I needed to fix for my everyday life. And I'm talking away from the gym, not even talking about the gym. I came here, me and my girlfriend planned to get pregnant. That was not happening with the testosterone level that I was at. Went to the doctor here at Titan Medical. Uh, Blood work came back, talked it over with the doctor. He prescribed me HCG, testosterone, to get my test back up, and a little uh, Hercules potion. You know, I wanted to feel good, I wanted to get a little pump in the gym and really get back into it. Um, long story short, now my girlfriend is pregnant. <laughs> We're having a kid on the way. Um, I feel great, I feel energized and I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't come to Titan Medical. As far as my experience here, the doctor was very knowledgeable. I was a little nervous coming in. I didn't want to come in here and be judged for my test being low, for what I've taken in the past. Um, I, the doctor came in, he was very patient with me. He understood everything I told him and gave me great feedback of what I needed to do to get back into a nice healthy lifestyle, get my back, body back in shape. And uh, the girls on the phone were really easy to work with. I, I was, a, believe it or not, <laughs> I was a little nervous to even call, so I texted them. They texted me right back within about 20 minutes. It was a very simple process. Got in here, got it done quick. Um, and I, I'm a happy guy now. We're doing big things. My energy is high. My sex drive is high. Uh, I'm back in the gym. I'm gaining good weight. Uh, my body fat is lower. And I'm having a baby. <laughs> right, so, uh, I just want to say Titan Medical changed my life. And I'm not being cliche. I'm not uh, just blowing smoke at you guys. It really did was a huge factor in me getting back into a healthy lifestyle. So. Do you want to become a better version of yourself? This entails a lot of different things, but they're easy to do if you follow the program. The program is this, start getting into healthy lifestyle habits, right? Start getting a good nutritional diet, eating good portions, activity of some sort, whether you're exercising outside, you're doing brisk walks, whatever it may be, get that activity in. You're sleeping good. You're getting six to eight hours every single night of sleep so you can wake up refreshed and ready to take on the world. After that, we can start adding some different things on, testing blood work, making sure hormones are right where they need to be, optimized and dialed in. We can also start doing some other things. Maybe you wanna lose some weight, maybe you want some more energy, maybe you wanna be a better version of yourself all the way around and through and through, whether it's on the inside or the outside. We can help you at a tight medical center. Whether it's getting you healthy or improving quality of life or just dressing you to the nines in our cool Titan gear. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220 and we will help you be a better version of yourself. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife right here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and bring your relationship to 
to a whole new healthy and positive level. Hopefully long lasting relationship will come out of it. And don't worry for all you guys and gals out there that aren't in a relationship. You guys can get all this great information and store it so you can find a great partner and then use this stuff to have a great long lasting relationship with that partner. Maybe a family and all the good stuff that comes with it. But with good, there's always a little bit of bad, just a warning, so nobody is perfect out there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfect. No, I'm just kidding. So, uh, you know, this week we're going to continue on. Last week we, we talked about three great relationship advice tips for you guys. So this week we're going to bring you three more. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's just talk about now. these things. All right, so the first one. I think this is really important. The little things add up to big things. And this is positive and negative things, mm -hmm. right? So... When we talk about the little things adding up to big things, we're talking about the little things that you do daily, right? Because everybody, you know, can go out or maybe they can't go out and buy you a new purse or car or whatever these things are. These are big purchases or things yep. that, you know, they might make your partner happy for a short term, but it's really the little things that they might remember. Right. The little things that might actually count more than the materialistic things. True, true statement. So when we talk about some of these things, we're talking about like, you know, picking your wife up or girlfriend up or fiance up from work, right? Going to lunch with them, maybe bringing them something at lunch or uh, surprise it, them. taking them out on a date. Never know. Maybe going to a movie, doing something fun with each other, interacting. Because if you don't, you guys are basically just roommates. You guys go to work, you guys share bills, you guys come home, you guys eat, you sleep, and you guys do it again, right? Um, this is where a little intimacy might help too as well. If you're adding that into the mix, hopefully that will bring you guys together, not just emotionally, but physically too as well, because everybody needs that physical touch. They want that physical touch. They want emotional connection along with this. Mm -hmm. But with the little things, you know, I, I gave a great example to my son because, you know, Mother's oh, Day, when it does come up, I was talking to him about it. He's like, yeah, I'll just give him a hundred bucks because he wants to play baseball on that day, right? Yeah, the tournament's right on actual Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. And I'm is. like, hello, that's my day. <laughs> but then I was like, well, fine. And it's supposed to be like a really big type of tournament for the baseball and the kids and they need enough kids to do it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I told him about it and he's like, all right, mom, I'll give you a hundred. I'm like, I don't want your money. Right. He's like, okay, well, what, 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 what else can I get you? Like, well, I'll, I'll buy you some. I'm like, I don't actually, you know what? Now that you said that, I'm going to force you to think of something, of a way to make it up to me that I'm going to be on the baseball field for all Mother's Day instead of, uh, you know, some brunch or, or, beach. or the beach yeah. or maybe with the other moms because that's very typical that we do, right? This is true. So, you know, I, I really want him to think about it because, you know, they say that however you treat your mom is typically how you're going to treat your wife or this your girlfriend. True. And it's a true statement. So I want to make sure that he is groomed to be a good man to treat his wife well. Yep. So that way when she does bad things and I slap her a couple times, that it'll be, uh, it'll be totally, <laughs> totally within limits. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. So my conversation was, was saying, hey, listen, it's not about the money aspect. He's like, I don't know what to get. My mom has everything. I'm like, dude, it's not about buying the materialistic item. You know, I was getting to the conversation of what he can do. And I've told him this before over and over again. He don't Write her a personal letter, like a Mother's yes. Day card. Write that card. And not a little piece right? of paper because he's been doing that. Well, anything, right? You can kind of get crafty get with it. Get crafty. You can, you can go online and it can tell you how to fold into a beautiful <laughs> car. A piece of paper, probably. Yeah. You know, I, I wouldn't put it past Google because you can learn <laughs> anything on Google, all right? Yeah. So, and you know, make something like that. You know, come up with, you know, be, be something original. Maybe yeah, make a poem for your mom. Or let it come from the heart, you right? Know? Do thoughtful. something like that. Thoughtful. Yeah. Something thoughtful, something that, you know, you've worked and produced that didn't cost any money or was very little money that you could do. And at that point, you know, this will mean a lot to that person, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance, your mom, right? On Mother's Day, if you guys are looking for something to do for your mom, hey, write her a card. I guarantee she's going to love it because it comes from your heart. And, it's, love it, and that's where you're saying, like, the little things that count. Yeah. Now, John here, um, me and John, we make a great team. The reason why we make this great team is that he's positive, right, all the time. And I am negative. I've gotten better. I'm negative all the time, right? So I'm the half empty girl and he is the half full guy, right? So in this situation, we're going to flip it. 
and we're going to say the little things, the small little things that might lead to bigger things, right? Mm -hmm. And this might be little nitpick things around the house, right? Like, or it could be anything, right? Maybe it's something that you constantly tell your partner, like, can you please not do this? Like, this is, it's irritating me if you do this, whether it's an action or maybe it's something that like, for instance, let's say the toilet paper, right? Does it go this way or does it go the other way, right? And then you go in there and you're like, okay, this is not the way it goes. Or, you know, it could, it could be something so minimal and it just kind of like feeds into it because you're not listening to when they tell you like, hey, can you put it this way? Or, hey, can you uh, not stuff the fridge with all of your shakes? Because I need to put my my other drink in there or whatever. It could be the smallest things that you guys don't realize that you're doing that like might eventually end up into leading to an argument or being irritable about something. So just be like, listen, listen to what they're telling you. And the other person needs a voice. If something is bothering you, like share it. I think she had just covered my second topic. Uh oh. Listen and shut up. <laughs> listen and listen. shut up. It's, it's pretty simple and easy what she's talking about. <laughs> you know, you guys are in a relationship, you're in your own habits, right? And you're doing what your routine is, and they're doing what their routine is, and now you guys are kind of mixing it together, mm -hmm. right? So you guys are you're coming together, routine. you're meshing it, it's like mm -hmm. a hybrid situation. Hybrid. Right? With, with hybrids come compromise, right? And this is where the listening comes into play. Because you're only talking and telling what you're doing and they're not listening to what they want. And now compromise brings you both to having to listen to each other. Mm -hmm. So listening goes a long way. And I tell my son this every day. I'm like, hey, shut your mouth. Listen. Yeah. And then make a comment after you understand what's going on. Yeah, it's a different from like hearing someone talk versus listening. Listening means that you're like processing what they're saying. Yes. Because you could just, you could be like looking at them and not really actually be like processing what they're saying they're just talking in thin air and, and all of you would be lying to yourselves if you said you've never done this yeah. whether it's with your mom your girlfriend you know your whatever tell me the zone out the zone out the zone you're just, out you're giving them you're not even you might have even perfected it where you've taken the dumb look off your face and you actually look like you might be listening yep. so you need to listen um or you, it could end up in, in a bad situation yeah yeah especially <laughs> if they catch you so make sure that you got your, your uh -huh. repeat on blast. Yep. All the time, I would be doing two different things, and she's like, you're not listening to me. What did I just say? What did I just say? And then I'm just coming, I tell her exactly what it was. Because I was every listening one, to every her. Every once in a while, though. I was he, listening. He, he leaves off that last little bit, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, what about this part? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, no, 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 you weren't listening to that part. Oh, my God. <laughs> Make sure you listen. Don't try yeah, to catch you up yeah. on call it. Call it out. Don't get, don't get caught up in that yeah, situation. Yeah, call you out. Because that's just another strike going against yeah, you right there. Yeah, strike. And it's not like <laughs> bowling where it's good. <laughs> but you, you should definitely listen because, you know, it's important. And you might miss something, right? And this comes into play about doing the little things, too, as well. They might hint at those little things in a conversation with you. They might not say this is what it's exactly about, mm. but you take that information and you store it and then you use it for later. Because there might be something in there that, like, it might be like, I don't know, uh, like strawberry shortcake or nerds or uh, candy or, or, or anything that might, a special flower, it might not be rose, it might be something totally different. Yeah. And you can use that later on, like, hey, you know, you get them that, like, oh my God, yeah. I, I, I can't believe you remember this, right? right. And, and you've, list, you've listened to what they said and you applied it to go forward. So at this point, make sure you guys are listening, guys and girls, and I'm sure you guys have all been in the situation, even on the phone. When you're talking to somebody, whether it's a salesperson or anybody else, you're talking, they're talking, asking you a question, then they talk, and you're trying to talk over them, and nobody's listening to That here, is so annoying. Right? That is annoying. Yeah. Don't let it happen to your relationship because that happens. Yeah, yeah, it's so annoying. It happens. Two um, people cannot talk at the same time. Yeah. So if you guys are both talking at the same time, you guys are not listening. Neither one of you guys is listening because yes. you're both talking at the same time, and you guys are literally not getting anything accomplished because you're both talking. Yep, yep, yep. So my third topic, or our third topic, mm. a healthy relationship requires two healthy individuals. So at that point, um, you know, Sharice was kind of asking me, like, you know, what, what do you think about this before this, this segment? And Wait, what does that mean? Th this means this, right? That don't rely on your partner to make you happy, right? They can make you happy with things they do or being around them and all these things. But if you're not happy with yourself going to a relationship, don't look to that person to be the happy pill every single day. Yeah. It's not gonna happen, right? And you deserve to, to give them happiness as well. So if you're just draining happiness out of them oh. and not reciprocating this, 
this can set up the relationship to have negative things that go on. Um, and then you're always going to be looking to your partner to make you happy, per se, right? Mm -hmm. and you don't want that. Like, you you want to be a happy person. And at that point, when you're doing these things in a relationship, you're making your partner happy. And then you guys are coming together, two happy individuals, making each other even happier. And hopefully having a happy life, right? <laughs> to, to, to a certain extent. Yeah, happy it's, wife is a happy life. Happy wife is a happy <laughs> life. But they might not be your wife. Yeah, happy right? girlfriend's a happy and life. <laughs> you know, you might not be happy in the current situation scenario you're in, right? And you go out. And you find this person that's just really bubbly. They have this aura about them. They bring this positive vibe around you. And that makes you happy at that point. You're like, man, like I feel better about myself. Or this person really makes me feel better about myself. They might compliment you or whatever it may be. Um, you might feel good. Like, hey, this person wants to go out with me. I'm like, oh, man, like, cool. This is, this is awesome. Things are starting to work out for me, right? <laughs> um, you got to remember, too. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, listen, I highly rely on John to make me happy every hour of the day. Oh, man. Um, and he's done a really good job at it, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it works, it works out, it works out. However, there is one like little balance that I'll share with you guys and it's a secret, right? So here's the balance, right? So say that your partner, cause not everybody has a good day, right? Sometimes you're gonna have a bad day and you might just wake up in a bad mood. I don't know, it's just, things happen. It just, it happens, right? Tell me how many people have not woke up in a bad mood. What do you think, you wake up in a good mood every day? So if your partner is in a bad mood, this is the day that you need to be in an extra good mood yep. to kind of offset your partner's bad mood and try to get them in a better mood if yep. you can. You know, if not, then it is what it is. But two bad moods in one room doesn't work out very good. Definitely not. So if you and, and listen, you can't be in a bad mood every day either because now you're now the now you're top heavy yep. on the one person being in a bad mood all the time and you're forcing yourself to have to be in an extra good mood.